love day. Get it. Uh, Valentine means love, don't huh? mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And, and it's the day the Lord has made, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can have some fun up in here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Y'all enjoy first service? Yeah. Y'all enjoy the, the uh, marriage ministry? Yeah. yeah. God is doing some wonderful things here, of course. Um, I'm referring to we have uh, classes at the Family Life Center down the hallway that are specific. Well, that was this morning for marriage, uh, for the uh, uh, for resolving conflict, how to fight fair. And so, of course, um, and that CD of the first part is available at the back. So at any rate, um, the first service we had was um, talking about the love of God here in this particular location, of this particular uh, venue, uh, was talking about God's love for you. Amen. God's love for you. Uh, tell your neighbor, look at your neighbor and say, God love him some me. God love him some me. No, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. India said it right. Thank you, India. Somebody, somebody got a revelation. She got a revelation. She, she said, God love him some me. Yeah. Amen. So now I want you to say, God love him. God love him. Some me. Some me. Amen. 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 Now, 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 just to make it even and balanced, um, now you tell them that, 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 that you tell them that God that God loves you too. God loves you too. And there's nothing you can do about it. And there's nothing you can do about it. The Bible talks about it's the love of God that's been shared abroad in our hearts that causes us and gives us the ability to love. You know, one thing about being born again, this is the beauty of salvation. One thing about being born again is that adding this third dimension, amen, uh, adding, activating the spiritual aspects of salvation uh, it gives you an ability to do things in the supernatural that you normally couldn't do. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me put it like this here. When you say you can love your enemy. Amen. Amen. Hey, you start having a nice feeling for folk you don't even like. Amen. Amen. I'm trying to get it done, but here we go. Okay. Okay. You remember that time? The phone was ringing just recently. The phone was ringing just recently. Just not, not maybe may been this morning or just the phone was ringing, and you saw the caller ID. It was somebody that you mad at, don't want to talk to, or mad at something. And the phone rang, and you said, oh, "I'm gonna go off on them. I'm tired of them." Something like that. And you picked up the phone and you said, hey. <laughs> you was going to go out, wasn't you? Uh, I, I mean, you you finna give them a piece of your mind, but something happened between your mind saying you can give them a piece of your mind and when you picked up the phone. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. That's come on. right. You remember that time you was going to cuss them folk out? Because <laughs> they done messed up your stuff again. <laughs> and something happened when they got in your presence. You weren't scared of nothing. You still had it on your mind, but when you saw them and looked at them, um, something on the inside of you Amen. made you say something nice and said something yeah. bad. Yeah. You went and gave them a $5 yeah. tip when you wanted to take the steak back. Yeah. Anybody done that before? Yeah. See, that's the love of God that's shared abroad in your heart that's overriding your own emotions and your own will. Mm -hmm. And the more you yield to the love of God, the more the power of God, the presence of God, and the spirit of God can move through you. And he can use you. Amen? Amen. 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 So, so, so I guess we can establish the fact that we have God living in us. Yes. Amen. How many got God living in them now? Hallelujah. And God is love. love. God is love. God is love. And love is love. And God's in love. love. <laughs> oh. And, and you know what? And it's amazing. It's amazing how when you get saved and you look at people through the lens of love, they look better. Oh, 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 hey, what do you see? You see hurt. You, you see that the person going off on you is not because they're mad at you. They're mad at something that happened to them years ago. Mm -hmm. Did you go, are they cussing me out? Oh, 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 man. Oh, I see them scars. Oh, something, oh, something. I had to get right. Hey, hey, sometimes you can, you, you can, even, I mean, the glasses help. 
But sometimes somebody can be doing something and acting crazy or talking too much or saying too much or talking a little crazy to you. You get close enough, you may, you put your glasses on, you may smell something. Oh, they've been drinking. Oh. <laughs> That's that alcohol talking. <laughs> Alcohol talk. Somebody said, under the influence. UDI. Amen. But God wants us under the influence of love. Amen. The Lord told me it's time. I said, yes, sir, this morning. He said, son. He said, the first service, and, I, and once again, I, want, I said, Lord, I want to do Joshua. I want to, I want to cope up on the five aspects of uh, success, and he said, you do that on Tuesday, on, on Wednesday, rather, uh, but today, he said, I want them to know that I love them. He said, number one, I want them to know in first service that I love them, and I think we talked about that good enough, is that right? Mm -hmm. uh, we reminded ourselves of God's love, uh, and God's love, of course, has been exhibited by, number one, the very fact we're still on this side of the earth. Mm -hmm. Truth be told. Mm -hmm. Everybody happy to be alive. Mm -hmm. It ain't nothing else. Amen. You lose an arm or leg, you'll be happy to be alive. Amen. You still alive. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. but, but 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 hey, but you can be even happier because you got two arms and two legs. Hallelujah. Are you more happy? Hallelujah. Can anybody see me? Yeah. Are you more happy? You can see. You can see. Can anybody hear me? Yeah. Uh, now you ought to be grinning. I mean, can you get feel? Yeah. Amen. 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 Everybody had some meat this morning. No. Sure. <laughs> they, it wasn't because there wasn't no food in the refrigerator. <laughs> you passed that bologna. You know you could have made your bologna sandwich. But you mad there wasn't no eggs, wasn't no bacon. You would eat you some bologna. You know you could have some bologna and crackers. Breakfast is not with Jesus, we need. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, the Lord said, first service, he said, son, I want you to make sure they know that I love you. And y'all know that. He said, but the second service, sir, he said, I want them to be honest with themselves. And for them, including myself, of course, us, to gauge ourselves, yes, to gauge ourselves on how much we love him. Ooh, if my eyes wasn't working, I don't think everybody left. If my eyes working, though, everybody ain't said, my eyes ain't working, I think. I was like, wow, You know, it, it's one way to measure, you know, and we tend to, and it was easy for, you know, human nature, we always measure how folk, you know, feel about us. You know, and, and truth be told, and, and men, you know, I don't know if y'all agree with me or not, but truth be told, and it need to be, and it need to be told always, uh, that uh, Valentine's, men don't get nothing women do. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Ain't no more for the ladies than the men? Yeah, yeah it, 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 it's an opportunity. Uh, now, it should be both ways, should it? Yeah. Yes, yeah, I better say that. And by the way, and, and, and if all y'all got is flowers to give us, don't give us nothing. I just speak for the men today. Amen. Everybody say amen. amen. Let me do that. Amen. I need y'all say amen, man. Amen. 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 change my message. I'm going to change my message if you don't say amen on that. I'm going to have to close. I'm going to have to go hold up. I'm going to go hold up away. I need you to say amen. Don't send me no flowers. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, elbow range. Don't even don't do that. Give me the $20, you're going to spend it. I just got that. Give me a shrimp tackle box or something. Oh, we back. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is an opportunity for men and women to measure, to gain a calculation of how much love we have for them. Not based on the amount the gift cost, but the fact that you got a little something. 
Now, if you ain't got nothing yet, just look straight ahead and say, thank you, Jesus. You my Valentine. Would you share? Did anybody not get any Valentine's yet? Well, you ain't been home yet. Now, you're talking about men. Did I get nothing yet? You got something for y'all, man. You got your, you did? You did? Uh -huh. Okay. I got a trick ball and that one. Thank you. I got a trick ball and that one. I said you did. <laughs> <laughs> I said you did. I said you did. I said you did. I said because since y'all got the you know, y'all don't say it or not. <laughs> <laughs> a new bracelet and a new what? And a, uh, cover from that's a lot of love, girl. Oh. <laughs> and that's a lot of love with them nails, too. <laughs> <laughs> I got a necklace. What? Yes. You got it on? From the 14-year-old. Oh. Yes, it is. Man, that's good. Amen. I don't have it on. It's a summer necklace. So. It's a summer necklace. I know that. It's summertime. 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 I never heard of it. Stop. I gotta stop playing with that. Be mom kind of have to make a light on the front because this is serious. Um, this is a serious examination, but. Don't take yourself too serious. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, um, um, yeah, somebody said, examination, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. The Lord told me this morning that just like Valentine's Day, of course, it's an opportunity to, for us to express love to each other. It's also an opportunity for us to gauge our love for God. Mm -hmm. Love for God is expressed in our love toward one another. Mm -hmm. Love for God. You love God. Your love for God is determined and expressed by your love for other people. Mm -hmm. If you don't love people, you don't love God. Mm -hmm. That's 1 John 2.19. <clears throat> How can a man say he loved God mm -hmm. and hate mm -hmm. another person? Mm -hmm. I know it's say brother, but another person. Mm -hmm. So if you hate anybody, that means you can't get love. Mm -hmm. Ain't no hate in this house, right? Mm -hmm. Number love. Number love. But I got to do something. Y'all ready? I have to do this. This is the love examination. Some of you who've been around me and my ministry for some time, you've probably taken this test before um, when I've preached at other churches and done other places. Uh, I know we've done it probably in faith classes, some other churches and what have you, but this is very important. This is a test that's going to measure that gives you opportunity to check yourself. Here's the beauty of it now. This is not like a test. It's not like a test in school where the teacher would call out questions, and I'm going to call out questions to you. But you, know, you don't need a piece of paper. All you need is an open conscience and a sincere conscience with yourself. Because in this particular examination, somebody say pop quiz. Pop quiz. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. In this particular examination, the one that's going to grade your paper is not your neighbor or the instructor. The grade on your examination is going to come from you. Say the grade. The grade. On this examination, on this examination it's going to come from me. Now, don't worry. Don't worry. You can't fail it. But you can pass it. Here's the beauty. Why is it you can't fail? Because even if you come across an area that you know that you haven't done and so on, you can begin immediately changing it. See, on this particular, it's a, on this particular examination, here's the beauty of it. It's an open book test. All answers are right there in your lap. Hey, hey, you can't go to the back of the book. You ain't got to wait to teach the teacher leader room. You ain't got to teach the teacher edition. The answer is the right there in your lap. Oh, y'all get nervous, y'all? Okay. <laughs> now, okay. Now, one thing I've learned to do 
before I take examinations to relieve fear and apprehension and uncomfortableness. <laughs> I go, I, I take 10 deep breaths, but we can't do that today. Let's take three deep breaths, ready? Let it out. <laughs> and then you clear everything off your desk. <laughs> Get your number two desk. Open your workbook up. Open up your workbook to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. This is where we'll find our examination. Get your workbook right. Open up your workbooks. 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. And what I've done also, I brought out my trusted dusty message Bible to kind of make it easy for us to do this examination. Amen. This is a love test. Amen. A love test. Now everybody know what verse number one reads, don't you? You got to say amen. Amen. Now by the way, if somebody does not have a textbook, we can loan you one if you need it. Just raise your hand if you need a Bible. And by the way, your Bible is uh, basic instructions for everyday life. On earth, of the basic instructions for life on earth. That's what the Bible is. Basic. B I D. If I had a board. B I D. No, I'm just kidding. No, 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 I ain't born right there. B I B L E. Basic instruction for basic before leaving earth. Basic instruction before leaving earth. Basic B instruction I before B leaving L Earth E <laughs> Basic instruction before leaving Earth leaving Earth. Okay. This is your workbook, and this book, this book of course is your owner's manual. Now I'm still talking because I'm trying to relax you so we can take this test. It's, it's like taking a lie detector test. If you're nervous. You need to go jump all off the y'all know I mean I took a light down on just kidding. <laughs> now we know of course verse number one. It says though I speak, y'all get it? First Corinthians 13 and 1. Though I speak with tongues, first Corinthians, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, first Corinthians, I said 10, 13, didn't I? Yeah. I sure did. 13, I'm sorry. 13 and 1. 13 and 1. Yeah, 10 13 is a good one too though. <laughs> It says, there is no temptation overtake you such as common to man, but God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted, tested, or tried above what you are able, but wake up, make a way of escape. That is a good one. That is a good one. That is a good one. Thank you. But, that, but that's not the one. On back over at 13. Amen. That is a good one, though. All right? I got it now? Amen. I got up there. I apologize. <laughs> now y'all said my apology ain't walking in love. <laughs> now hold it again, me. All right. First Corinthians chapter thirteen. Let's read it together. For though I speak with tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I become as a sounding brass or a tingling cymbal. Isn't that something? They said I can speak in tongues. And, and of men and of angels, but 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 if I ain't got love, charity means love. Yes, I'm just making a bunch of noise. Right. Amen. Amen. For those that have yet to speak in tongues, relax and flow. It'll come when it come. Don't worry about that. Just walk in love right now. Amen. Amen. Let me just say that. In fact, the most important thing you can develop is not the gift of the spirit, but the fruit. Amen. Pump your brakes on the gift. Don't worry about all that. They come when they come. What you want to do is develop fruit. So fruit go way further than gifts. Amen. Gifts cut off. Gifts can be explained and scrutinized and uh, uh, hypocritized and everything. The folks, ah, he was already. He can, you know, folks say, oh, he wasn't dead. You can raise the dead. He wasn't dead. He was. <laughs> he was <laughs> the but, but love never fails. Look at verse 13. Somebody read that. Now about it. Faith. Oh. Is what? Love. Because love never fails. In fact, look at verse, I think verse number 8 says that. Read verse number 8. 
Charity, 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 charity. Love never fails. There it is. Mm -hmm. Is that a read the rest of it? Whether there be, okay, I do it. Love never fails, but whether there be prophecies, they may fail. Whether they be tongues, they shall cease. Whether they be knowledge, hey, all time is making vanish away. Is that right? But love never fails. So, 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 What's the most important thing? Let's just, if love never fails, I'm just saying, what should I be daily working on then? In fact, truth be told, every situation and circumstance that you face, every trial and tribulation that comes your way, your first area to check is your love walk. Yeah. How you check your love wall? You check your love wall by making sure you ain't mad, folks. Because mm -hmm. anger opens the door for the devil to come in. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and go back. Let's go ahead and do this. Amen. All right. Y'all ready to take this now? Yeah. Just look, I'm, 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 I'm trying to go slow, but I'm trying to relax you a little bit more. All right. Y'all ready? Now, we're going to start. I'm going to read. I'm going to read verses number 4 through 8. Probably 4 through 7. Now, before I begin to read this, remember, we have determined that, all, that God is love, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And the love of God is in me, ain't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is the love of God in you? Yes, sir. So, so, so the ability to walk in love is in you, right? Yes, sir. Amen. And God is? Love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Now watch this. And so if God is love and I'm in him, I should be a love person. Mm -hmm. right. In fact, really, you can call me love. <laughs> tell your neighbor, love. Hey, love. Hey, love. Hey, love. Hey, love. Now, 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 tell your spouse. Don't tell other folks. <laughs> hey, love. Why are you now, watch it. All right, now, watch it. <laughs> you pass no numbers while y'all are. Now, watch it. Now, watch it. So, 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 in fact, look at here. So, in fact, let's do this. You ready? In fact, your name for the next 30 minutes, it take less than that. Your name for the next 30 minutes is love. Tell your neighbor, how you doing? How you doing? I am love. I am love. I am love. How you doing, love? Hello, love. <laughs> Hello, love. Hello, love. Hello, love. Hello, love. Hello, love. Hey, love. Hey, love. How you doing? Look. <laughs> now, from love, we're about to read the characteristics, the attitudes, and the ways that I should conduct myself. Try to go slow so you can start. We're about to go over. Cause this is how I check. This is how I grade myself as to where I'm at in my love walk. Amen. And, and, and notice I say grade myself. But can't nobody do it for you. And this test is for you, not for someone else. Mm -hmm. Don't read these with other folk in mind. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. That's, that's been the problem. You, you want, hey, you, you hear a good message, you want everybody else to hear it. No, it's for you. <laughs> <laughs> you get the right one, baby. Ray Charles, you get the right one, baby. <laughs> so and so should have been there. Now you here. Yes. Yes. So and so should have been there to hear forgiveness. Now you here. <laughs> I'm gonna take this CD. Oh, I gotta get all these. Yeah, that's cool, but you better pay them yourself. <laughs> or get two copies. Because the one that needs it is Prince. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't gonna grow here. Confirmation, Pastor. And, and, and by the way, and I've read these myself. I'd be out. And, and Pastor, y'all know that. Far, far. Lot to work on. Huh? Lot to work on. That's why I thank God for mercy and grace. Amen. Yeah. 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 Oh, man. I mean, you know, it's always something. And, and, and the thing about it, when you put in a situation, you find out what you really got. That's good, Pastor. Yeah. You, you run along cool until some pressure come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what did it say about pressure? 
But also, <laughs> the same pressure can take can take a lump of burnt wood, and the burnt wood could be under the pressure of rain and different circumstances on earth and be put down into the dirt. And that same lump of wood under pressure becomes a piece of coal mm -hmm. that's useful to burn fuel and to fuel different things. But but let's stay on the stay on the coal for a second. Because that same pressure on that lump of coal, when done long enough, turns a lump of coal into a diamond. And you got to understand, as we say here at Remnant, our responsibility is to knock the dirt off the diamond. Yeah. Our job is to, is to just, just brush on you a little bit, so when you leave here, you got a little shine. Amen. But if you don't allow pressure to develop you, it will bustle. I'm not going to go there. So y'all ready? So we're talking about love, right? All right, I'm going to use my two Bibles. And we and we all, and my name is love, your name is love, right? And, and I'm grading my wife, right? We're not grading each other, right? We're grading our... Now watch this. Now, what's going to happen? I'm going to I'm going to read what love is. And when I say love is, you say I am. I am. And then you're going to repeat the actual uh, characteristic that I say. Okay. <laughs> Amen. Amen, Pastor. Amen. 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 Now, <laughs> you're going to. Read. In order to gain proper introspective, you're going to close your eyes. Mm. Yes, you're going, to, yeah, you're going to close your eyes. Don't worry, ain't nobody much your person of it. <laughs> We're all in love. We all love here. Yeah. Amen. But, but when I say, when I say, I am love, you can say, I am. And then when you say, when you say, uh, when you say, the first one is patience. And you're going to stop. And I'm going to allow you anywhere from 5 to 30 seconds to gauge yourself on whether you are patient. Watch this. Who's going to check you? You are. Actually, the one that's going to check you is in your belly, your spirit. Because your mind is going to have a hard time saying something that you ain't. That's the indication that you need to work on. Every time you can't repeat what the words say, that's something in the word that you need to work on that you can say. Mm -hmm. That means the faith ain't there, the belief ain't there, and obviously the fruit of that particular element is not there yet. Mm -hmm. But it starts with saying. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen? Remember, don't now, now, now stay in love. Don't get condemned. And when you say it, when you say, when you say, I am patient. Mm. 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 Mm.